fucking weird today. I don't need to be in the intro, do I? Right, welcome back. I'm with Ben Isaac today. You alright, guys? Yeah, we're going to do a 18-hole um, course vlog. We're at Western Supermare. Um, it's cold. What are we doing? Five front. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Front back match. Yeah. Uh, Ben's playing really well at the moment. Shot five under last time around here. You didn't want me to say it, did you? No, not at all. Yeah, the greens, I don't think anywhere you go this time of year, you're probably not going to beat um, the quality of the greens around here. Yeah. They always run quite true. And that's the main um, thing in it, in winter yeah, this golf. Time of year, especially in the UK, you just need flat, true surfaces. Yeah, I mean, under underfoot it is, it is still pretty wet. We're going to do um, preferred lies and all that, but generally, decent condition. So. Just get out and play 18 hours. It's a good score. Yeah, let's just play. <laughs> Right then, we're at the building site. What number have you got? Got one twenty-seven. Okay, so put this flag. Wedge. Wedge. Yeah, I think the green is still going to slightly frozen, so it's just going to try and fly it a little bit lower to get a big skip. Okay, centre right of the green. Yeah, not bad, mate. Up for bird. Well, it's James it's just hit a two iron on the right side of the uh, first hole. How far are you looking at? Yeah, 112. It's probably going to be just a three quarter 50. Yeah. Should do that number. Just try and allow for a big skip type thing. Yeah, try and land this okay. at like 105. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Terrible filming. What are you thinking, there, mate? Um, we spent a bit more time reading putts today. Yeah. Yesterday, Trevoz, I just kind so of rushed for a lot of reads and didn't get. If I didn't, if I wasn't sure, I just kind of had a bit of a sort yeah, of the old-fashioned if in doubt, hit it straight. Uphill, a tiny bit. It's obviously breaking from the right. But yeah. So James has probably got the best part of thirty foot. Straighten out near the hole, can't see us moving more than like six inches. Yeah, okay. It's a nice looking putt. Just gotta get there, get there. Great putt. Good start. What about you, mate? What are you seeing? I've got this little bit of tear to come down um, to start off with. Obviously, all gonna fall down to my left. Yeah, it's downhill, isn't it? Across the yeah, I think it's more sort of pace wise starting it no more than the cup outside and then it just falls off as the pace starts. Okay. Oh the start that would have been. Yes, it's two nice putts to start. Right, so the second hole here at Weston's three seven four off the backs. Uh, there's not really a lot to it, out of bounds down the right, a bunker that both of us should clear quite comfortably on the left hand side. What club have you got mate? Got three iron. Going with three. Wow, that is probably the worst golf swing I've ever made in my life. The high and right? That's gone. It was a huge, huge right. It's still in there, like. Yeah, it's just that. It's just the one where I fall back off it and it gets inside, then I leave it open. Being inside, playing somewhere like this. Absolutely disgusting. Where there's a lot of space, you sometimes just switch off. Yeah, and you just don't commit to a smaller target. Yeah. Just drive it then. I've got driver, there's some steps out in the distance um, in line with the green, so I'm just gonna hit it at that then. Yeah, ball just right at the bunker, but over it. Funny thing is, I didn't hit any of those on the range. That's just funny how the mine works, of course, isn't it? Yep. Mm. Same club, better shot. Oh, 
That's much better. Just down right at the bunker down there. 150 straight into the sun. Pin at the back. Yeah. I think the pins. You skips to get back there. The pins, yeah, you can see it just there. Right back there. What club are you going with? It's kind of in between. Whatever breeze there is, is. It's going to hurt a little bit. Yeah. And because it's a cold, fresh breeze, it can stall it a touch. It's going to hit a little late. Okay. Just going on the left hand side, don't I? What's your number? Oh, 114. Which, again, same sort of thing as you. It's, I could hit a really low pitching wedge and sort of try and skip it up there. Or I could try and fly a 52 and worry about the bounce. Just hitting it up the right side, turning it in. That is so flat and spinny. Look at that rip. Oh, that's a great shot, mate. Nice control on that one there. So that's a flat flight. Yeah, it's, I've got a down slope as well. Um, so it's just going to de loft it again. So it's actually just going to chase it up there, but then it's got enough spin with the uh, new Callaway wedges to pull up a little bit. Plug. So James just misses, nearly got it back to pin eye which is tough to do because the pin's so far back but just pulled it slightly nice. left and it skips on that hard ground yeah it's cause I think the first bounce because you're going up the hill and then it sort of falls down again doesn't it yeah I mean I'm seeing this at 56 just getting on top of the little yeah. tier and then skip them it should skip them the loop. yeah nice that's a pitch fucking jump jolty that one Bit jumpy, and it's not actually too bad though. Just, just long and right. That chipping action was not ideal. Still trying to get some confidence with the new chipping action. The new chipping action works, but it's just trying to ingrain a bit of confidence, which comes from repetition when playing, when it matters, etc. Most of the time it's good, but occasionally, I don't know, something breaks down. Anyway, what do you see? Not a lot, to be honest. I feel that might just fall off at the end, but I don't actually think. Fall off to which way? Looks fairly flat, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it's just a in the middle kind of part. Would have been way there. Oh. Yeah, they're quick, aren't they? Yeah, they roll out really well, actually. Just saying how good these greens are. It's just, this is the best greens I've played on for a while. Yeah, I'd second that. They roll out very well. Still on, mate. <laughs> That's James has got four or five foot left. I think it's backed here. I don't think there's too much in it, to be honest. No. I mean, if this is moving, it's going to go like a centimetre left. Okay. We're talking. Right. Still inside the hole. Yeah, inside the hole, for sure. Yeah, what well, I mate. Mean. We've got a par three now. Pin is just over that. This will mount, yeah, pin's cut right here. For the first five holes, we're literally going straight into the sun. After that, it's going to turn it around so we'll be able to actually get some down the line shots. But was trying to work around the sun at the moment. Uh, what's the number? 130. Um, Are you chipping a nine? Yeah, just because of temperature. Yep. And I think if you go long with this pin, it's better than... Yeah, it comes back down. Yeah. It's up the right. But, I mean, it, it's probably catching a bit and, and releasing down to the left. Yeah, it falls in that way, but it wasn't the greatest golf shot. What are you thinking, mate? Same club or? Same club, yeah. Same club, same shot. Just better. <laughs> a bit further left. Just a bit more direct at it. He's got a bit stuck on that one, did you? Or you just didn't really feel like you committed to it? I think, to be honest, I was aiming a little bit right and then got stuck under a touch as well, so. 
both of those equal a uh, right shot that's slightly left side of the green can't really see it from here solid shot there mate all right looks like ben's come down the hill into the rabbit hole Lovely. it'll drop out easy put on not a lot just getting it over the fringe and it letting it release down yeah well done. right it's james has got the pin eye solid shot really it's probably got 35 foot and you can just see there's a sort of tear halfway where else you see it, mate? It's not doing much, really. It's fairly flat as well, so it's not the case, isn't it? Yeah. Just trying to lag this in. And so lag it up tight, and I think it's a good part. Go a little bit. They're quick, but they're not that quick. Oh, it's just a little bit shy. So I just flick one out of the way, mate. So, left himself a simple-ish putt. It's pretty straight. Yeah, there's not a lot to it, so. Yep, good two putt. Got 363 yard par four. It's the fourth hole, Western. We've got 240, there's a brick wall right in the middle of the hole. Um, so you've got 240, you can either lay up and leave yourself a 130 shot, or you can hit it straight over it. So you're going for the 230 shot? Yeah, the leaving it just short of it. Leaving yourself a little flick? Yeah. I think I'll do the same. All right. I think that's out of bounds. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Do you just, do you just repeat my what? second tee shot? No, I've a shank. So I've sit another one while you're... Yeah, go for it. Yeah, we'll do that. that. Certainly wasn't my Sunday best, the first one. Uh, you going three iron? Yeah, three iron, second tee shot again. Just trying to make... Horrific bad swing. <laughs> oh, good. Uh. If you're going to shank him, shank him 220. Down the right side of the fairway. Yeah, it opens up, opens up quite a bit around there, so it's fine. All right, let's have a look at the green. Pretty flat. Not too much going on. What's your number? Well, 152, 150 stones right there. Uphill line. It's going to be slightly above my feet. So we're going to do commit to a nine or just? Uh, just cosy an eight up over Yeah. It's gone out hot that. Three eight. So James is just on the left hand side of the fairway. Good, good swing off the tee. Again, nine. Yeah. It's essential it's that par three really. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit harder. <laughs> Got a good light in the rough, so shouldn't be a problem. Give that there. Give up. That looks very good. Just up there on the right hand side of up pin eye, I think. Yeah, I thought mine got back there as well. Good feeling, yeah, I needed to go another five, but two birdie chances. Yeah, again, doesn't look like a lot's going to happen on this one. It might like fall away to the right a bit. You see much? No, there's not too much. Sort of goes slightly downhill about here, but there's not a lot of, not a lot of movement.
great wheel. Alright, so James has got a similar length putt, maybe a little bit shorter than mine, uh, just from the other side. So he's coming down, coming down a decent size slope. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be quick down there. See much movement? I think initially there will be. It's going to take that bank slightly. Yeah. And then pretty much going to straighten out as soon as it gets sort of six foot out yeah. yeah obviously the first bit of the part is the bit you're hitting harder so it's going to take less break yeah so with this you're not actually looking to although there's quite a slope i'm, I'm thinking this is only like a couple inches outside okay release release just gonna Straight keep going up. yeah that's fine mate don't worry. All right. Now usually you go out there for the fifth and sixth, but they're shy. It's a really wet part, which is right near the beach. So we are missing those, and we're just going to do one and ten to finish to make it an eighteen hole vlog. But we've got a nice par three now, and we're going down the sun, so you'll be able to actually see some ball flights now. We've got one ten. Sorry. One forty one. <laughs> one ten. One forty one. 141, what's that? So I've got a little nine because I think whatever wind there is, it is helping. Helping a bit, yeah. And there's a tree in the background just left of the pin. That's target, yeah. That's target. Yeah, it's a very small green. Any quite long of that pin is dead. Long and right is dead. It's a great shot. Very nice, that. Has it got back? Yeah, it's just a touch short. You going with similar sort of shot, feel, direction? Yeah, pretty much. Not that way. Funky that. Yeah, that's just over that left hand trap. Up and down from there. So James is left hand side of the green um, on a slight down slope. It's not a terrible lie. So I'd imagine he's sort of. Yeah, it's this down slope. I'd say just sort of like five foot on the green. Yeah, I've got a 60. Yeah, he's got well, 60 degree. Just trying to chase one. Land it quite short and just let it release down. Obviously there's a runoff where I am at the minute, so it's not, it's not the easiest shot. And that's unfortunately trying to be too subtle with it. I don't know what it is, I just can't take the chipping area to the golf course at the moment. It's just got zero confidence out here. It's very hard as well to find that many shots that replicate where you get to. Well, especially like, that. Yeah, as I say, you don't really get a downhill, uphill, chipping green type thing where you can practice it. Um, and with a different move, it becomes a very hard golf shot. Yeah. Oh well, that's why we're out here. Reps practice went into play. Great pace. Well, this James has got a fairly meaty putt um, to save par after a bit of a fluffed chip. See anything mate? Yeah it's got to move about six inches from the left. Okay so it's coming from our right. It's probably not too much. Good pace. Yeah take it away mate that's fine. Good pace, good putt. Part five, how long is this? 461. Get a ball. Oh Bit of a slip. <laughs> Going down our left hand side down there. Big, big issue. Good hit though. Fine. Right, Ben's got 228 back there. 
It's actually found an all right spot. Looks like he's got his two iron out. That driving iron thing. It's not too much trouble around the green apart from right, so. That's a good shot, but it's heading up the right. Yeah, fine chipping apart from there. Right, so the hole is just down in line with that grey, in line with the grey house, so you can just make out the yellow flag there. So James is going to have a considerable distance less than I did. How far are you looking at, mate? 180. Okay, so he's got 180. Slightly below and then up here as well, isn't it? Yeah. All right, starting here the grey building. Might be a good idea in a little six in here, actually. Yeah. Right, stir over it, connect. That's it. That's all it is. Just rotate through the ball. So close to the decent as well. It says, good looking moves, just gone down the left hand side of touch, might catch a bit of the green. Yeah, just basically discussing with Ben. I mean, since my lesson, I've hit, I think, two, three hundred balls. And then from there went out to play Travos and then playing here today. So, I mean, it's just not enough time to bet it in to make it feel like comfortable and to actually trust it. Still trying to work out where the right position is with feel. Sometimes that means the balls go left. Sometimes that means I leave it open. It's just like not ingrained. So it's going to take more time, obviously. You can't expect to come out of lesson and then ingrain a swing change like that within a week. But that shot there, is not destructive so I'm not missing it now like 50 yards left it's like within the golf course so it's moving the right direction all right let's uh he talk us through this then so we got 25 yards plenty of green to work with uphill how do you see it I've got uphill back here then it's sort of flatten out go back uphill then it goes downhill after it um, it's doing a bit in it, the green. Yeah, this green sort of does. So because it's doing quite a bit, are you trying to find like a specific landing point on the yeah, flat? Well, I sort of always pitch my 56 anyway. I'm, I'm just a one club. Pony. Sort of. Yeah, I can play different shots with it. Yeah. Um, instead of worrying about different lot. Well, that's fine, isn't it? If you, you, so know, you can predict it. I'm probably trying to hit this one lower than normal. And there's a little brown spot um, about halfway up just into a little lip. Yep. I'm just trying to pop it off that. Okay. Kill a bit of speed in there, still got the speed to release out. I'll just get my hands higher a little bit to create clean contact them after. That was yippy. Was it? it? Looked alright. It's alright now. Right, mate, what are we looking at? You've got the same sort of problem as me, you? It goes, options. It goes down to start, then up a little ridge, then down, and then up yeah. by the hole a bit. I think I can just pump 50 just onto the green, get it skipping over that mound. First bit, and then just release it. Releasing, yeah. Okay. Well, do you, are you, are you, are you would have a 56, would you try and fly this over the mound? No, I'd probably, I'd probably think the same sort of thing, like I say, just hit that lower, lower, more skiddy ball flight. Try and actually commit to a chip shot. Yeah, nice. Just releasing down there. Touch short, but better, better, better move. Yeah. Alright, so what did you say you got? Six, seven foot? Yeah. It's a tricky one, it's right on top of I the I'd say uh, it's a crown, isn't it? Right on top of the crown, so. I mean, this could go straight up the crown. Or it could fall away slightly to one side. So. Yeah, it's a tough little pin position. I think that's almost what makes it a par five is how hard the green is. Just think it's going to move that way if anything. Just move a touch. Yeah, but we're talking still inside the yeah, hole. Yeah, still inside the hole. Oh, it stayed there. Almost went the other way. It actually started in the middle of the cup and then fell off. Easy birdie hole. It's the same thing, really, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a strange one seeing what yours did. I want to say it's going to go left edge. 
inside the whole left edge. You're aiming inside the left edge? Yeah. Good read, mate.